It's been a pretty bad time to be a Henry Cavill fan. He's out of The Witcher, out as Superman, and while there's been a lot of rumors surrounding projects he could potentially star in, we finally have something solid to look forward to because he is officially attached to star in and executive produce a live-action Warhammer 40k series for Amazon. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course if you do really enjoy the videos and the live stream that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So this is a Hollywood Reporter article, and this did break last night, and I'm so excited to hear about this. It says Henry Cavill's next play, Warhammer 40k series for Amazon. So, Henry Cavill may not be donning a red cape, but he does have a cool new gig. Now, over the years, we have heard so many times about Henry Cavill's passion for Warhammer, and this is what sounds to be the perfect project for him. It says the actor who Wednesday officially hung up his Man of Steel cape after Warner Brothers announced it was going in a new Superman direction thanks to DC Studio heads James Gunn and Peter Safran is attached to star in executive produce a series adaptation of Warhammer 40k, the popular science fiction fantasy miniature war game that is set up at Amazon. Amazon is in final talks for the right to the game produced by Games Workshop after months of negotiations and fending off rival companies that sought the rights. Now, as you can see, he's not just acting in it, he's set to star and executive produce the adaptation, meaning he's got some level of creative control over the series, which is really positive to hear. Now, I do want to be honest, and while this sounds like great news right off the bat, the details are a little bit rough around the edges, specifically because it looks like Amazon is closing in on the deal. They have made some pretty good projects like adapting the legendary science fiction writer William Gibson's Peripheral and the Chris Pratt film Tomorrow War was very good, but the problem is that they have put out so much trash like the Rings of Power and Wheel of Time. They don't like to follow the source material very closely, and we know that Henry Cavill has a major problem with that. Now, a big difference between something like this and The Witcher is that he is executive producing it as well, so he will have creative control, and I'm hopeful because Amazon does have a slightly better track record with sci-fi projects, but I really hope that they don't screw up this series or screw him over like all of these other companies have. We deserve a win. Henry Cavill deserves a win, and I could see a major W here with this series. He's very passionate with Warhammer. He's a fantastic actor, in my opinion. And now that he's sacrificed so many projects, he really needs to be part of something that he is passionate about. And I don't think that he would sign up for a project that he thought was going to be a disaster or that he thought was going to be ruined, like, unfortunately, The Witcher has. I like The Witcher show. I think it's got some good elements. And, of course, Henry Cavill was a very good part of that, um, but it didn't follow the source material all that closely, and we heard that the writers actively disliked the source material, which was a major problem. Now, even though all of this news broke last night, Henry Cavill actually recently made a statement saying, For 30 years, I have dreamt of seeing a Warhammer universe in live action. Now, after 22 years of experience in this industry, I finally feel that I have the skill set and experience to guide a Warhammer cinematic universe into life. Partnering with Natalie at Vertigo uh, has been a blessing beyond words. Without her, we might not have found the perfect home at Amazon and having a home like Amazon will give us the freedom to be true to the massive scope of Warhammer. To all of you Warhammer fans out there, I promise to respect this IP that we love, I promise to bring you something familiar, and I endeavor to bring you something fantastic that is, as of yet, unseen. 
I obviously think that this is a great heartfelt statement and I do think that Cavill and all of the people behind this project are going to create something really memorable and really true to the source material. But after this news broke, people took to Twitter to celebrate this major win. Of course, Discussing Films put out a tweet about it, and everybody in the comments is praising this decision and praising Amazon, and that must feel pretty freaking good for Amazon, seeing as they have gotten roasted for so many awful series releases over the past couple of years. People are sharing so many different images of Henry talking about Warhammer and his passion for the franchise, saying things like, yes, this is going to be amazing. Love that for Henry. I'm glad that he is going to be part of a project that he is going to not only feel passionate about, but also have such an input on. Because if this show fails, if it comes out and it's bad, we know that he is sadly, of course, going to leave it just like he left The Witcher. Um, and hopefully that will not happen with Warhammer, but it's at least a start of a new project that he will have some kind of control over. Let's go, Henry. I can't believe that this is real. First time that I've been looking forward to something coming out of Hollywood. Hollywood has definitely put out a lot of trash, and it is hard to get very excited for projects, but this is one I genuinely am hopeful for, and so many other people are as well. I've also seen a lot of people praising Games Workshop, and it is important to point out that Games Workshop has been the most resistant to woke culture being pushed into their games over the years. We've seen a lot of companies like theirs try to appeal to people who wouldn't ever buy their titles, thinking they could get a new audience to purchase their products, when of course that would never happen. Over the next few weeks, I bet we'll see some hit pieces come out attacking Warhammer and this show, but if this does happen, all of us will be here to defend Warhammer and also Henry Cavill. Right now, we don't really have a timeline surrounding this project, when they're going to cast other actors, when they're going to start filming, when it's going to release, but we at least have this information that Henry Cavill is going to star and is going to executive produce, and so many people are excited right now, and honestly, this is such a big win for him, for us as his fans, and I really hope that this project turns out to be amazing. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.